Torben, do you want to <coughs> give us an intro of what new painting options people can expect to see? Absolutely. So it's, uh, I think it's a really good update. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> I, I, I know, I know I said I wouldn't do that. I told him not to say this. Um, <coughs> anyways, yes, uh, so it's, it's two things. One of them is uh, new painting options, but before that, uh, let's look at uh, wheel options. Because cool. we've added in a whole bunch of new wheel options, specifically new room style. Yeah, so if I jump in here, mm -hmm. the, the ones that are equipped on the car right now yep. are one of the new ones. Um, yes. Unfortunately, they are kind of mixed in with them all. Um, those ones are new. These are new guys. New. Uh, that one's new. That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, there's. Oh, is that wrong one? So, how many have we got in total now? Uh, over 40. Over 40 have been added in this new yes, update coming out tomorrow. Uh, from 20 different brands. So, uh, too many to name check. Cool. All right, and is there anything else about wheels that people well, should be excited about? Uh, so, I, you can paint them now. So let's go and take a look at that. Shall we? Not only you can paint the wheels, you can also uh, go in and paint specific sections of wheels. OK, so how does that work? So as you can see from the screen here, uh, there's a little plus sign on uh, the wheel icon. That, that means that this icon, ha this uh, part of the car, has uh, advanced painting options. You can see it flagged up there with the prompt. And if you hit yeah. that, we will get a view of the subsections of this wheel that we can now paint individually. OK, let's jump in, guys. Yeah, so choose colors and also materials which is not something that people have been able to do before. So bang some carbon fiber on that. Oh, sweet. I actually literally just learned that right now. I didn't even notice. Cool, great. Um. <coughs> and so I, I think the, the thing that this really does that has been uh, something that we've wanted to do for a while is it allows you to control the materials that appear on areas of the car. Because previously, if you wanted to do something like that, you needed to be very creative with your liveries. And that's great. but. Uh, the actual texture difference that you get by being able to apply materials is, is just great. So, uh, <coughs> so what are these groups? How do these groups work? So each group corresponds to an area of the wheel. And you saw there was uh, just bang some color onto that and bringing the option up again. And if you bring up uh, in a barrel, uh, that's an interesting one because like a lot of our painting options, uh, there are, it depends on the wheel room that you put on, whether or not you can see the inner barrel of the wheel. So I can make it green even though I can't. Oh, no, you can you see, see it. There it is. It's in there, right? <laughs> um, I mean, I know that's something that people have been crying out for. They're like, that little bit inside the wheel there. It's, it, al it it's, always, just, the it's always just silver metal. But now it could I can be make it any color. Like. Look at that. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it is great. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really happy to be, to, to be getting this out because uh, the kinds of creative things people will do with this is just going to be great. So uh, once we'd uh, introduced this new bit of technology, which allowed us to color in these different materials, mm -hmm. uh, why don't you tell us what? Uh, what else we were able to do with that? Well, I mean, uh, it, it, it follows that once you can color subsections of a wheel, it might also be possible to color subsections of a car. Um, so why don't you zip over and grab us a Bugatti? Yeah, so I know this has been a, a thing that people, I mean, people have had workarounds for this, but mm. it's been extremely uh, time consuming and labor intensive in order mm. to, to solve these kind of problems. So I think the, uh, the Bugatti is probably the, the, the chief example of this. Let's, uh, let's, let's stick a, a lovely little wooden detail onto this. Well, let's just have a, so this, so the, the, I guess we talk about the reason this, this car has always been a problem mm -hmm. is because, as you can see, as the manufacturer produces it, it has that sort of navy blue there, mm -hmm. baby blue mm -hmm. on the front half of the car, and as well that little silver detail. Yeah. And typically in our game, when you're trying to paint that, you'd go paint, and then you'd go, well, I want it to be orange, and it would paint all of those sections the same color, exactly. which is fine. But if you wanted to then go and maybe just repeat what the, the mm -hmm. main manufacturer called, but with different tones, mm -hmm. you, it's a lot of work. You'd have to go and build in and color in all of those individual sections. Yeah, exactly. So if we head back. And so, <coughs> because of the plus symbol there, you hit that, and now we have paint groups. So, uh, so I can now color that part, I can make that part carbon whilst leaving the back part yeah. the same navy. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. Um, So I'm guessing now people can just personalize it a little bit more, make Absolutely. it a bit more unique, mm -hmm. special. Mm -hmm. and It'll be interesting to see, won't it, the different liveries that people can come up with exactly, now with these because, because these, these layer in under the liveries, right? Yep. So it, and and as, as Mike said, it's a way to achieve things that you could possibly kind of approach with a previous system. But simply because we can add actual materials to sections of the car, the, 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 the detailed feel that you get out of it is completely different what you could have done before. So if you bang it over all the way to the right to that, uh, to that the lovely love. wood inlay, because who doesn't want to put inlaid wood onto their, onto yeah. their hyper? So I have to admit that I'd often felt that these, these paint options over here were uh, really of, of limited usefulness mm -hmm. uh, in the previous way, because if you wanted to have a bit of wood effect like that, which I think 
it's kind of classy. It probably look a, bit, a little bit better on a Jag, actually. But um, <laughs> <coughs> it looks it, it looks kind of classy that maybe someone's going to put a little bit of a wood inlay on there. Yeah. Um, when you paint the whole car in wood, it, it doesn't look as cool, <laughs> shall, we, shall we say? Yes. Um, <coughs> and I could go in and paint the wheels as well. Right? Yeah, you can as well. Um, I'm about to say this, it was definitely something that, you know, a lot of the community was asking for, so hopefully, you know, we can see what people can come up with now with these uh, variations of colours and material. Mm -hmm. That's uh, it's, uh, it's really going to be great. Take a, look at, take a look at one more car. Um, so, how many cars has this uh, been applied to? So, um, interesting little inside detail. Uh, this uh, works because it plugs into the material groups that we use to build the cars. And this means that it varies quite a bit from car to car. Uh, so in some cases, you'll see cars that have a really interesting spread of materials, which will allow you to do some really eye-catching things, like Harlequin-style color splits on cars. So I think it's really a question of, of people going in and experimenting with the cars and seeing what they can do with it, which is really, I think, why we wanted to get this feature out there, uh, because the kinds of things that people will be able to do with it uh, are just going to blow us away. So I think this is an interesting example, <coughs> because you can see how the body of this car is made up of uh, several different materials. You've got mm -hmm. the sort of copper color, the white plastic on the side there, mm -hmm. and then that like honeycomb there as well. Mm -hmm. And each of those um, is like a, a separate group in this, so you can color those in individually. Yes. Um, I think just to remind people, I suppose, if you could just... So you, you, you see those different sort of materials the car's made up of. Now, mm -hmm. In the old, yeah. the old style, that was kind of the, the results. Painted orange um, or nothing. Uh, which was you know, I mean, fine. But if you wanted to go back in and have that sort of honeycomb effect there, mm. it would be, you'd have to go and basically paint that in yourself in the, in the editor. But now, uh, so I was going to say, when does this go live for everyone? Uh, it goes live with, uh, with the rest of uh, the next update, the so-called uh, service check. Oh, nice. So that will be going update. Uh, it'll be going live tomorrow, or rather going out tomorrow, and then going live with the season change um, at the end of the week. Yes, patch goes out tomorrow, I think. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Um, okay. So you mentioned the service. I think change. this isn't coming yes. in this update, but something that we are now able to talk about because it is being worked on and will be coming fairly soon is we talked a lot about painting options now. We yes. will be adding the option to uh, customize the color of your brake calipers, <coughs> which I know is something that people have been asking for a lot. Yes. Um, it's one of those things. It's, it is more complicated than you would think to, to tweak the color, unfortunately. But we will get that out uh, as soon yes. as possible. And I mean, we'll just keep everyone posted on, on how that's going, because I mean, it's uh, something that people really want. We'll, we'll give you regular updates on the status of yes. color brake calipers. Worry D not. Don't, uh, don't add me. <laughs> um, so boom, in the chat.